It is going. <laughs> Ew, I'm sorry. Hey, friends. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> hey, Oils and Grace fam. I'm pretty. So, hey, guys. We are <laughs> about to show you a video of our tour of the Heartland facilities. About a week before all of this stuff went down, we were able to meet with um, the social media director, the marketing director, and uh, the general manager of Cyclone, Torque, and Road Warrior. I'm pretty sure that's what all that is. Um, and they took us on a tour of the facility. So we got to see firsthand the prototype of the 4006 that's going to be ours and that's coming out in at the end of June. And then we also we got to... Saw the stages of how the progression of how a trailer is made. And um, we're able to go through the facility and see things that they make in-house, yeah. that they bring in. And, and we were there for like literally three hours so the video does not do it the video is not do justice it is edited to make it to where you guys can get like the basics and the gist of it um and so we just wanted to open this up and we hope that you enjoy it and you guys can see the quality of heartland and how awesome the people are there um that are making the products and taking care of their customers and all that stuff Yep. Okay. Got it. <laughs> I All right. Crazy. <laughs> girl, come on. There we go, man. around a month. <laughs> I thought it took around like two months. What I'll do first, I guess, if you guys want to walk over to the... It's hard to talk. <laughs> I so, feel that way too guys, today. Introduction to Daryl there. Oh yeah. So, we got Daryl, guys. This is Daryl Ritchie. He's actually our plant manager. He's the guy that actually makes all this happen. He keeps the line running smooth awesome. and makes sure all the product comes down, looks clean, and there's no problems. And nice to meet you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> He's the man. Yeah. He's the, He's the main man. man. He's the one that keeps the quality where it's supposed to be at coming down. The awesome. Donnie. Donnie is the same thing. Donnie is the same thing, yep. Nice yeah. to meet you. And, and who's this guy back here? Oh, that's Drew. Drew. Oh, hey. Yeah, he's Drew really good at sweeping day. floors. Give me a broom on a mask. This is going to be a slide entry. So it en we enter through the slide in comparison to the most of them where your door is on the side or anything. Now, what this is doing is it's just giving you more living room space. Um, it's getting larger. You're getting a little more a little more room, a little more width across. It feels a little more open inside the coach. Yeah, um, I like that. This is pilot number one. This is the very first 4006 build, so there will be some significant changes on this. Okay. Um, Lots of living space in here. That's great. I love it. Yeah. Oh, let's do this. <laughs> a lot of people can fit in it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I was going to say. Because you have the opposing slide right here. Yep. So yeah. So we have dual opposing slides. Oh, and there's uh, a pantry. 
Yep, there's a big, there's a pantry. In I was gonna suggest that, but you already had that handle. <laughs> so in this door right here, we do have what's called the one touch system in here. So this is gonna be, it's all digital. Um, this is fairly new for us. We've only been doing it for about three or, not even three months, probably two months. Yeah, I was gonna say. Mm -hmm. uh, we just started doing this. So really quick before you move yeah. on, so why do you guys, can you explain why you do like the pilots and the prototype and like what that process is? So the pilots basically what we do is it's our creation. So we draw a floor plan up, mm -hmm. it's all on paper, the engineers engineer everything, get everything together. We do one pilot just to see that it's plant friendly. Okay. To make sure that the plant is capable of building this product. So and again, when you look out on paper it looks one way. Yeah. When you get in real life, all of a sudden it, it looks completely different. Okay. Uh, like the crown molding, uh, this was something that we see. You know, a lot of homes are doing this. Yes. And in the homes, it looks beautiful. Um, in here, for us, the way the light's shining up on the top, it just doesn't give you the same look that you get from a home. Yeah. Um, so this is kind of a trial and error system, just with that stuff right there, just like the cabinet doors. You know, the sure. cabinet doors. We looked at them and we thought it looked really good on paper, and then when you get to paper, you're like, ah. Oh, when you look at a residential kitchen, it looks great, but we're on a, we're on a smaller scale. Sure. So the doors are smaller, everything's a little bit smaller. So when we got to the scale of it being in this RV, all of a sudden, we're like, ah, we should have made it one single door. So how many of these do you guys make? Do you just have one pilot so that we, you make? We build one pilot. Okay. Once we do this pilot, we actually grab everybody from our engineering, to purchasing, to production, plant managers, um, head of operations, even the president of the company, all we all get together in this coach. And what we'll do is we'll sit down and we'll look at everything in this coach and go, all right, well, that looks good, that doesn't look good. Hey, this floor vent's in the wrong spot. Sure. Um, boy, there's not enough plugs over here. Or, you know what, wouldn't it be better if we put plugs in this little cubby hole or if we did this or like this, we did two pull-out beds and we're like, man, you know what? These beds don't sit as nice as the actual couch does. Do we really need, yeah. you know, another yeah. bed? So what this is, is, is it's just basically everyone comes in here and brainstorms. Me and AJ, awesome. which is the senior GM of three brands, me and him actually spent four hours in here after it was built and just sat in here until about 8 o'clock. Oh, my gosh. And just literally <laughs> sat in here and talked and looked at every little thing that, that needs to be fixed that, you know, and then once we go through it, I'll actually bring all my sales guys in here. Okay which my division has four sales guys. The four sales guys come in here and we'll sit in here with those guys and I'll say, all right, well, here's what we're changing. And then I'll say, do you guys have anything to recommend? Okay. And so we all kind of pitch together to get the unit to where it needs, needs to be. Needs to be, okay. Uh, and don't get me wrong, sometimes we all miss something. Yeah. You know, or everybody, you know, or we disagree or di agree on stuff. I mean, there's a lot of heated debates in these things. <laughs> <laughs> um, other things that are changing on this, you know, this one touch is gonna move up here so it's visible. Um, and then this door is going to shrink and this wall center up and look a little bit more symmetrical. And currently, you know, this is always behind the door. When somebody walks in the coach, no one wants to try to have to open this door in the dark to turn on the lights. Um, so, and don't get me wrong, this is Bluetooth, so you will be able to attach this to your phone. You'll be awesome. able to open your slide outs, you'll be able to do your awnings, you'll be able to do your exterior lights. It has a, a setup on it where you can set the voltage where the, if... Um, it drops Jumping. below, let's say, 10 volts, the generator will kick on, oh, that's awesome. um, which is kind of a nice feature. And the nice thing also is that we did leave all the manual switches in this. So I'm oh. a very impatient guy. I don't like technology, so I want to come over here and just turn the lights on. I don't yeah. 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 I don't want to mess with that. Yeah. So I think it's good to have both anyways. It does. It gives you a backup. So this has completely changed from what we used to have. And a lot of our units was oh, just wow. a, a big closet. And the, we had an east-west bed that was very tight or very small. Yeah. And with a 13-foot garage, which is now the demand for all the side-by-sides, yeah. yep. is about, I would say, 50% of our buyers our are motor sports buyers. Kitchen. And out of the 50%, probably 40% are side-by-side -side buyers. Yeah. So the motorcycle buyers and golf is really lessened over the years. Um, so it took a long time to develop a bedroom that you can get a 13-foot garage, a nice living room, and still have uh, a decent bedroom. bedroom. Yeah. Um, so.
goodness. Can I get the, I want to get the uh, kitchen. Did you see our room? The bathroom's changed. Oh, changed. did it? Well, this is like. This it, is nice. This Mom's like, like I love my pantry. I can way literally fit in this. You're going to live in there? That's your bed? Oh, where's Perfect. Where's the Berkey? No, no. no. Manufacturers oh, wow. that build all that's our countertops. Cool. So, one of the things that's neat about us is we can do a lot of unique designs and different floor plans that the other guys can't because we build everything in house. Um, what's nice about our stuff, it's all half inch. The other guys are using three eighths um, because it basically it's comes down to a cost savings. Um, for us, like we buy such man. a bulk amount. <laughs> of uh, solid surface that you buy half inch for the same price the other guys are buying three eighths at. So um, it's nice for us. You're just getting a little bit better quality countertop and you're getting, you know, different designs and stuff. It's better built. Um, there's no OSB on the bottom. You'll notice like right there, looking at that, it's all plywood. Um, you feel under a lot of them, you know, you get that nasty kind of rough feeling edges. Yeah. You won't see that with any of our countertops, which is kind of nice. Ducky, ducky, ducky. I told you, it's, it's, it's amazing how much these Look at it, like, look how much move before oh you put anything See, on. the rails actually flex. That's Which a lot of people don't understand how, that you can't overbuild them because what happens is they get too heavy, but when they're raw, it's, you can see the rails actually moving, which is kind of a, a crazy feature. And I'll show you some walls too, and you just go, how does this thing become such a solid I'm structure? Going 70 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's doing. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's doing. It's I, I, we heard that it's like a 7.0 earthquake. That's what they say. That's yeah. what they claim. Yeah. So right here is just your raw chassis. It's going to have all your A-frames. It's going to be what's underneath your garage. This is your flooring where all your tie downs are. Like your tie downs will tie into this, and they'll tie into this 12-inch IV frame. Attention. Oh my God, um, Mom, these, these are actually from Lippert. Lippert probably builds ninety-four percent of all the chassis out there. Um, they don't come in with axles. They don't come in with anything. Um, once they come to this point, this will be the first one in the morning. They'll bring it back. Now you've got a frame flipper right here. So what they'll do is they'll hook this frame flipper up to that so pin box, so and then they've got another piece in the back that actually hooks to the back, and they'll roll this thing over upside down. Back a little bit farther. Oh, <laughs> um, back here, the garage is doors being installed. Oh, yes. um, your bath deck area underneath where your passive storage is being installed. Same with your bath deck up top. 
Now your bath deck up top, um, this is gonna be 5 8 OSB, it's a one sheet. What they do on that is they actually have this big nail gun and this nail gun basically shoots into the steel frame. Um, it's not screwed or anything, it's these big nails that blow through um, oh, wow. that they do that with. It's not even screwed down, which is kind of neat. Dad, here's uh, your bed. <laughs> yeah, that's the bedroom. <laughs>
Yeah. We'll also do a hundred pound Here, hold it. gas line test. Oh, yeah. 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 All the uh, water lines, a hundred. Is it heavy? Oh my gosh! Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Don't, drop it. don't give it to George. <laughs> <laughs> Molly, right? Then give it. To me. We don't trust him with together? anything. <laughs> Baggage doors. Um, just the manufacturing process really was just going on here. Um, of course, the roof wiring, I think we just walked past that, but that's where they run. That's where we saw it. Yep, mm -hmm. the spaghetti works, I call it. There's 30 different rolls of Oh, yeah, it's wire. pretty, if you saw it, it's pretty, it could be. Did exactly. you get it on video? And you yeah. can look, like, see right there, see, if you look where all those wire rolls at, see all the wiring? Yeah. That's all the wire that goes through that roof. Holy cow. So like 20 different yeah. colors that go through. That's crazy. Slid in the track. Oh. So when this does go bad, you can actually slide this out and put another one in. Um, <laughs> the shrink. Brent. It does get ripped. It does have problems. So this will slide out. You actually pull this screw. There's a single screw here. You slide it out, slide it back out. Um, a lot of other guys will do it as one piece. The cups, you can't change it. This is just something you need to do with it. Molly and Elliot. That rubber, you're going to have to actually pull this whole set out. Usually you don't see this seal go bad. Yeah. This is the one that usually gets frozen or something gets caught on it and ripped and tear. Warm weather. Yeah, we have on the water. You like cold or warm? Cold. And it was the heat. So you guys had the old rubber that went in there? Yeah. That one is called a belt rail. If you walk over that, and they have basically a, a little forklift um, that they roll out. They'll lift the slide out in and they'll push the unit in. Um, it's fairly simple. In the old days, it was all done by hand. Um, now that OSHA got tighter, now everything's done with machines. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. But, uh, yeah, everything they lift in now. Once they put slide outs in, pretty much all the trim's done here. Everything that's drilled needs to be drilled. Everything that's screwed in needs to be drilled in. They'll do another 100 pound test. So they'll print a tag off. We'll put the tag on the door. Yeah. Shake, shake, shake.